Hey, bro, what's going on, everybody, man? Still got range back in the middle of town. You know how we bumming me, man. Range gang, 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 cockatoo, all right? So, look, I'm going to just tell y'all. I'm going to just show y'all. These, This is going to be a series. I'm going to show y'all the best way to get your badges, man. Best way to get your badges that you need to get Hall of Fame. So, starting off with my art type, since I'm a playmaker and shot creator, you know, shot creator is my primary skill, then passing and ball handling, or playmaking, basically, is my secondary skill. So, I'm going to get y'all, I mean, but, look, everybody got this, I mean, everybody almost have this badge. Man, everybody that has like the playmaking ability to get the badge or has it in their secondary badges to get hey y'all gonna want to see this y'all definitely want to go out to see this but look to get your anchor breaker to hall of fame real quick or just to get it leveling up faster as what as what you wanted to do look all you have to do is pretty much play my career games or you could play anything you could literally play anything you could play my career you could play the team facility which is what i'm finna show you guys and go into there you can go into the team facility right here so you know me i'm for the knicks and whatnot but i hate the knicks right but look you got to go into the team facility you can play my career games my career is the most helpful one but i'm gonna just show y'all in team facility because just to give y'all just a heads up and give y'all just a demonstration of what y'all can do in my career y'all can take that to my career so i don't have to show you guys but you can also play my part games and just do the most that you can do in order to get your ankle breaker up there so to get ankle breaker all you need to do is pretty much do double moves to scores it's the same thing it's the same motion that you have to do in 2k17 but you just got to think about 2k18 as a whole different thing because this is road to 99 overall and you're trying to get your 99 overall you're not trying to get legend or rookie or you know you're not trying to get no rep you feel me you're trying to get your badges now so it's, it's literally a grind for badges and look all you have to do is pretty much just do double moves to scores it's the same motion like i said in 2k17 you have to do many 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 double moves to scores but in this case if you're doing it in 2k18 there's really no there's no like number limit to get it to hall of fame you really just have, have to do as many as you can to get your score up in that ankle breaker category so look i'm gonna show y'all right here select the badge to work on you're gonna press circle and team practice it's ended for today what it's ended for today what all right i'm gonna just show y'all straight up in the game so that just pissed me off really all right, bro, so y'all see I'm in the game now. I'm just going to end this shoot around just to get to the basic point of this video, man. How to get ankle breaker at Hall of Fame the quickest way. So playing my career, like I said, is the fastest way. So I'm assuming you guys may want to see this now rather than me going into the team facility. But going into the team facility, you would be doing the same things as you was doing in my career. So I'm, just, I'm basically going to be showing y'all the same things I was going to do if I was in the team facility. But unfortunately, for some odd reason, the team facility was ended for me that day. I don't know if I went already, but look. We gonna go. We gonna get into this game. I'm not even a starter yet. Sadly, I'm I'm grinding my career. I'm grinding my badges, man. I'm, I'm telling y'all. So right right now, I got my stuff almost at silver. I got my ankle breaker at twenty thousand in the bronze section, so it needs to hit twenty four thousand. So literally, literally, if I play this whole game out, I will get four thousand in ankle breaker, and that's pretty high. It's pretty high to get your ankle breaker up. So getting four thousand score in your ankle breaker is a good way to. Uh, get your ankle breaker up faster it's more it's, it's the more efficient way to get your ankle breaker to the hall of fame if you just keep doing the same thing so me i do pick and roll you feel me i do pick and roll and then i do this i just do that and you see me getting the double moves of scores you want to move the right stick around a couple times to, in order to get yourself the uh, amount of dribble moves done the amount of moves done at least do two moves because that becomes a double move and then you just score, you gotta pass it to get a double move to score, you're gonna get an assist. It doesn't matter if you pass it off and your teammate scores or you score yourself. You just need to get a lot of double scores this game. So it's the same thing you doing in ankle breaker uh in 2k17 Ooh, what am i saying it's the same thing you do in 2k17 literally but it's just a score limit to it that you have to get understand that i better make that all right so my career be playing around i got myself on pro right i'm not making a lot of shots like i thought they took rookie off so they just said maybe it's too easy for these people to get their badges but look Again, like I said, just do a lot of double moves to scores. I would try to show y'all me getting an assist if I can get one. Porzingis, do it for me. Do it for me. Porzingis, do it for me. Just throw it up. All right. He wasn't going to do it, but double moves to scores, you can also get it with assists. You don't have to score yourself. And also getting it with assists will give you, you know, that plus one on Dimer. All right. He was in the ball. So 
I just explained to y'all, you know, I just showed y'all what y'all do to get ankle breaker Hall of Fame, but just keep doing that. A lot of the games, you can also go to the team practice facility after and work on your ankle breaker badge by doing one-on-ones, 2v2, scrimmages, and all that stuff. And do the same thing. Do a lot of double moves to scores, and then you're going to get your ankle breaker up faster than usual. We wasn't able to do stuff like this in, you know, 2K17, literally, because they have many more options for us to get our badges up. Like, they literally gave us the easy way out to get our badges in this game with team practice facility but my career games we got a whole 12 minutes to do things and quarters and whatnot so hey do something for me why are you dropping the ball bro i still got my assist i, oh, I ain't get my assist but yeah that's what it is man An ankle breaker double moves to scores do a lot of them in games and whatnot you most likely you're gonna be able to get like four thousand to five thousand so honestly six thousand depending on if you're a starter or whatnot just do double moves to scores my dude you're going to get Ankle Breaker to Hall of Fame in no time. So, look, that's all I want to show y'all, man. Thank y'all for watching. Still got range. Range gang gang gang. Haka too. Uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if y'all want more helpful tips on how to get badges or how to do things in 2K. Uh, mini tutorials and all that stuff. And uh, that's really about it, man. Thank y'all for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. And smash that bell so you get notifications on when I upload a video. So, hey, I'm out, man. Peace.